Hi everyone, this is Carolina here. Today I want to show you how to add audio uh, in Google Slides and uh, just show you some activities that I plan to do with it uh, with my kids. So um, the first thing, uh, like I said, I want to show you some examples. So here I just created an activity to get them to practice the different vocal words. And what I did is I didn't center sound um, uh, using my emoji here. And I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, and what they have to do is they have to listen to me say each word and they have to match the numbers of the vocab that I say here. So, for example, they hear me uno, say, uno. La camiseta, la camiseta, numero dos, las botas. Okay, so then they know like, you know, numero uno es la camiseta, numero dos, las botas, and so on. So they just kind of getting to practice listening to, the vo uh, to me say the vocab and, you know, Something that we would do these activities in class, but you know, since we are not there, this is just a great way for them to hear it again. Um, now I took the same activity, um, and I'm actually going to have them continue practicing the book up by spelling the words. I'm still trying to decide whether I'm going to insert audio in here as well, or just kind of ask them to spell it out um, here with the spelling board. And then uh, the other part of the activity that I'm adding. Uh, which is to um, record themselves in Bokuru and add the link here of them saying all of these uh, folk art words. So again, just, you know, part of it with the teaching a language and I teach Spanish is just also being able to practice it as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add sound and then I'll show you some other activities that I have here. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, you know, I'm just going to clear this with so we can start from scratch. Um, so you want to record yourself and um, uh, upload the sound into your computer or to your drive. So a few things you can do. You can actually use Screen Classify, which I'm using right now to record this. Um, and what you can do is you would make your recording. So this is kind of me recording, going through the numero uno and you know saying each one. And then once the recording is done, uh, what I'm going to do is, because I can't make a screencastify video right now, um, I'll leave a, a tutorial in the link for you guys on the description. So once you get your video done, this is going to be appear here on the right, and you can click on download, and you can press export audio only. Okay? So basically, it just takes whatever video you made, even though it's a video that you can see. Uh, here, you just export audio only. Um, now, the great thing about uh, Screencastify is that it saves your videos directly into your drive. So if you were to go on your drive, you would see a folder here in your drive for that. The other option that you have is you can actually go to Vokuru. This is the website where you can just record yourself. So let's try this. Um, so if I just press this. And I would just record myself. Hello, my name is Carolina. I'm a Spanish teacher, and so on. Then you're gonna press stop, and you can play it. And I would just record myself. Anyways, hello, <laughs> my name. So if you like it, you keep it. If not, you can press this button and do it again. And then to save it, you press save. And this is the option I'm I'm having the students do. So they're gonna copy that link into the slide that they're doing. Um, you can download it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it and it's going to be here. And what you can do then is you want to go to your drive and you want to drag this file into your drive. So it's going to appear there. Now, one thing that I recommend, uh, because remember with the change in Google and how they added restrictions to every file that you have. So this file right now is restricted. You need to remember to change the, res the restriction of it. So for example, um, again, to do that, you go to get link and um, you wait. <laughs> and then here you want to make sure it's not restricted. Um, so to avoid the situation of you or kids having to tell you they need access to it and they can't view it, what I would do if I were you is I would create a folder that, um, you name like audio files.
and then after you create the folder you want to make sure that folder right click on it um that is not you change the restriction i think at the moment my folder is not going to have restriction because this folder is within another folder but if it's restricted then you just go and you change the restriction and what's going to happen is anytime you need to um add a audio file you want to uh when you drop it here you, you want to drop it in that folder okay so in that way everything what's in that folder will be able kids will be able to see it um so yeah that's okay that's, yeah. okay so again just keeping everything in this uh folder will make sure that uh, when you create these things you don't have to go back and constantly worry about changing the restriction okay so then what you're going to do is in your slide you are going to go to insert and then you're going to go to audio uh now it should show up like the last one that you recorded uh so i'm just gonna press that okay so now this little icon comes up and then you'll see this to, uh toolbar here on the right um so these are some options that you can use for your audio files. One is uh, on click, meaning you start the playing on click. So if I start up here, I click on it and I will be able to listen to my audio. You can also do it so it starts automatically um, when you open your slides. So when you have your presentation, if you put this in presentation mode, it would automatically come on. Um, now notice if I do on click, this here is not an option anymore hide icon when presenting. That option is only available when you go to automatically. So start playing automatically. And then you can uh, decide if you want to hide this. Uh, so what that would look like, let's see if you hide it. Let's see if it works. So, and I would just record myself. Hello, my name's Kira. So yeah, so when it presents, it's automatically recorded and you weren't able to see the icon because um, that was you know, part of what we clicked. Uh, so again, going back to on click, which is what I wanted to do. And, um, and then here's some other options um, to loop the audio. So it just keeps repeating, um, stop slide change and so on. So if you change the slide, it doesn't keep going. And, um, and these are more just like aesthetic things. Now, I do want to show you how you can actually change this to a different image if you want. So to do so, you right click and there's going to be this icon over here that says replace image. Now you could do different things. You could go um, get an image off the web. So let's say I want this to be a dog. <laughs> let's do a transparent dog. <laughs> everywhere okay so let's say i want this one oh yeah sorry that's what i meant to not drag so I used to dragging the pictures in so then now my um actual recording when i go on it <laughs> uh when i put my cursor on it you're gonna see the uh, iphone for recording show up um, now what I did with mine, because you saw I had emoji, what I did is I picked up emoji here and I right clicked and I um, save the image. So we could save it as a listen. And then here again, right click and you go to replace image and I could do upload from my computer. And then I could just pick um the one that i need uh, right now my computer quick access maybe there we go and there it is so um again this is i think this is really cool it just because it looks so much nicer and um and so on so um this is a nice option to have which is what i ended up doing here so that's kind of how i added this um i ended up cropping mine into a circle i can show you how i did that um i don't know i just kind of liked how it looked um more into that shape so all i did is i clicked on here and then you see this little icon here that says 
um, mass image, you're going to click on it and you can uh, pick like a shape that you want it to be cropped. And so um, I ended up just doing that uh, with my and just making it, um, I don't know, just changing it. But so, yeah, so that's how I did that. And just to show you some examples of different activities that I made with this. Um, so one of the ones that I made here is I actually tried to do like it was like a restaurant scene and I had my kids. Um, well, I actually had some members of my family um, help me um, put together a dialogue and each person read different ones um, just because I wanted different voices and different accents. And um, this the um the scene uh, each person's talking about what they prefer to eat so i'm making uh also like a, a handout where they have to fill out um answer different questions about what you know juan likes to eat versus martha and so on so and again just the recording just set up like that um is it playing no it's not here we go. hola me llamo juan y esta es mi hermana victoria and so on. So I just kind of made a listening activity where they're, you know, going to have to answer questions, make sure you're listening to it and paying attention to what's happening in the scene as well. Um, now, this one is I'm going to record myself. I haven't done it yet, but I set up different items since we have all these items from the Bimboji rooms. And I am going to record myself telling the kids where uh, the items should go within the scene. Uh, and this is what the end product should be like. So they are just going to, you know, say like, um, el sofá está en el centro, uh, en el piso, um, el cuadro del toro está en el medio del cuarto, and so on, la mesa está a la derecha, and anyways. So this is just kind of an activity for them to just build the room how it's supposed to be, or how I want it to be. Um, so that's one that I'm doing. Um, so I think with the listening, I think it's great personally, at least for me as a language teacher. Um, and I think also just in general, you can even just use it to give kids directions. Um, oh yeah. So just here, just to give an idea, I put, um, you can make a speech bubble for where you add your recording and just very simple how to do that. You would just go to, um, insert and if you go to shape. Uh, one of them here. Wait, did I miss anything else at the top? Here we go. It should be here. Um, so you're able to add a. Um, you could do the oval speech. Well, let's try this one. Yeah, this one's the one I use. Um, so you can add a little speech bubble to use. I made this black, and then this fill. I just made it white for mine before. Um, and then you can adjust this if you want it facing the person. Um, and then when I just added my audio, which I'll show you again, insert audio. Let's say whatever, I picked that one. All I did is I just moved the icon here. Um, and then over there you saw I just added the name so they knew who was the person. So that could be another thing you can add. Um, or like I said, you can add them a bunch, which I think is really cute. Um, and I think that's it, guys. I just wanted to share with you some of these ideas um, that I had and um, activities that I'm trying to create to uh, better help my students with um, um, their listening and uh, learning the language. I think the more they listen to things, they're able to uh, remember so anyways, I hope this was helpful and I hope it gave you some ideas. Uh, I'm going to put the template um, of this one on the description. And I also just really quickly want to show you. So if you want also to insert um, audio clips, there's two websites here called um, Satsplat and Sound Bible that you can use. And just to give you an example, so these are just, um, you can look up um, different sounds. Um, and you can download these files and then that will be what you upload to your drive and then insert it. Um, so you could just look up, let's see. How, what is that? So yeah, let's say you want this on your presentation, you can do that. And that would be something, let's say you want that on the presentation, like in the background, that would be something that you uh, have on loop. So that feature, um, that you can have things 
go on loop. Let's see, let's look at it one more time again. So yeah, this one. So you could insert the sound of the birds and have them the loop on audio. Um, and you can uh, hide the icon if you do it uh, automatically on presentation and so on. So those are ideas of things that you can do. Um, so yeah, so this one again is, um, I'll put this as well, the link in the description of the video. So you guys can get to that. And uh, like I said, I'm going to include also just like a tutorial that I find um, about just how to use Screencastify. So because I, I really couldn't uh, show you specifically. But uh, I like Bookaroo. I think it's a simple one. Um, my kids use it a lot. Uh, very simple. And they just give me the link. And as well for me to record something quick is also uh, really good. All right. So I hope this helped. I hope everybody's having a good year. And um, I don't forget to like and subscribe. And as well, if you want, I started um, a group right now. It's a very small group, but of how to tech for education. And I keep putting um, other resources and activities that I make there. So if you're welcome to join. Um, and like I said, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.